a beautiful place to stay in Helsinki, Finland. It's very centrally located, only 0.3 miles from the train station, right next to a bunch of historical buildings and smack dab in the center of the city. When I first got off the train, I found it a little difficult to find because it's not on the main street, but it's located about 30 feet up a uh, side street. And as you approach the lobby, you're welcome with these very small stairs and this beautiful elevator with an open design, which I frankly love because I like the mechanics and seeing how everything works. The hostel is located on the third floor of the building and has a nice little door and the key code to this will also be sent to your email address or wherever you did the booking. When you first enter, you're greeted by the lounge area and off to the right, you have the small kitchen. It's not the biggest that I've ever seen in a hostel, but it is very workable. And I've been making breakfast and dinner there every day for the past couple of days. You should check out the kitchen before you do any shopping because they do have some basic salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, some olive oil, some vinegar. And there's always there's always something good to grab on the free shelf that other people have left behind, but make sure to write your name on the food because if you don't, other people will eat it. The coffee maker is good, and then we have the bathrooms right across from the kitchen. They're a little small, but it's a bathroom. You don't, you don't need to be big. <laughs> Do make sure you take your shoes off upon entering. It's okay to walk around in your socks, and if you don't want to do that, they do have a bin full of small slippers that are kind of shared between everyone, and you can just grab one and wear those around. But for the most part, people wear their socks. There's two dining tables, a bunch of chairs, some couches, and the common space is always a really great place to sit down after a meal and just talk with people. Last night, I had a great conversation with some guy from Berlin, uh, one from Austria, and a couple from Texas. And then that's me. As you move over here, they have a great activity board that they constantly update with stuff going on. There's a little map showing the hostel itself, and then you have the reception desk. And when you check in, that little basket on the counter will have an envelope with your name on it. And then there'll be instructions in there, your key card and everything. Because I'm actually yet to see a receptionist. But over here in this wall, they have the Wi-Fi password, some local events, and a bunch of really helpful tour guides. I recommend this one right here. Um, it's a great place. It has all of the local saunas and some great museums to go visit. The reception does sell some stuff like padlock, shaving stuff, some toiletries, towels for rent. And then up here, there's some artwork and then a little past the artwork is the shower. Like the toilet, it's on the smaller side, but you don't need much more space, it's a shower. There's a little squeegee on the floor, and just be courteous, use that, kind of try to get the water all down the drain. And then we have some artwork on the wall over here, and it's quite beautiful, showing off the human body in its natural form. The Finnish have a way for showcasing the beauty and embracing the body positivity without sexualizing it that I think the American culture could really use. Out to the side, we have a small courtyard, and then all these doors around here are bedrooms. Some are private, some are six person, some are eight person. As we approach the main seating area, we have my bedroom number four up on the right, which is a eight person dormitory with four bunk beds each, and below each bunk bed is two absolutely massive lockers that can fit all but the thickest of wide shelled suitcases. I say you have about a foot or so of space, so make sure your suitcase isn't too big, or if it is, you can just unzip it and have it split in half. 
And then up here we have a little ladder and with my bed we have a nice two-level two shelf that I put my toiletries and my water bottle on, a little mirror and a light 